find Chris here with another new vinyl find video. This will be number four, I think. And today I'm going to show you some New Zealand releases, as I usually do, but also I promised I'd show some of my overseas uh, buys, so I've got those as well. So well, let's start off with the New Zealand stuff. This is Grand Rapids Faint Heartedness, that's what's playing now. Grand Rapids is a singer songwriter. Oh, there we go, there's the front. The singer songwriter. Ben King, he used to be in a band called Golden Horse, and it's a really nice pop album. Um, we were listening to it at dinner last night, and it just fitted in really well there. And like most New Zealand releases, it's a limited run, I think 300 copies of this. With New Zealand releases, I don't think that's so much about being exclusive, it's just they figure that's all they can sell. Uh, but it does mean you have to be in quick if you want it from anywhere else. So it's Ben King, going under the name Grand Rapids, playing half of this. This is Marineville. What about Kaya? Showed this in his last video. Foul swoop. And as he mentions, this is a, a screen printed cover. It's all the green there is screen printed on. And this is a real grower actually. I didn't. I wasn't sure if I liked this when I first listened to it, but the more I listened to it, the more I like it. It really goes back to uh, those New Zealand bands from the 80s that had an influence on the sound of the pavement, um, the, the sonic youth. You, know, you can hear in here, I hear touches of sonic youth, I hear the New Zealand band The Puddle, I hear a bit of pavement, and it's not that they're mimicking those bands, but they're going back to the sources that influence those bands, and they're influenced by them as well. It's an album that I would say I would like it if it had a slightly better recording, like sometimes I think that things are a little bit out of balance and maybe the vocals are up front a little too much for my liking, but it's a real grind and I've turned it up and it's great. Oh, by the way, that's out on uh, an American label, Last Visible Dog, and you can buy that online from their site directly. Liam Finn, he has a new album coming out called FOMO, it's released this month and I've got that on pre-order and uh, pre-ordering that reminded me that I'd seen this in a shop uh, quite close to where I work and so I gave them a call and, and to see if they still had it in and they did so I, I went down and picked it up this is his last album, it was I'll Be Lightning, this is his first solo album actually and this is really nice, I got in there and the guy said, oh, and I said, I've come to pick up that album and he goes, oh, the, the, the double album that's out of print anywhere in the world on, on coloured vinyl. And I don't think he quite realised what he'd had in the shop, that it was worth as much as maybe it was, so one on blue. It's got a whole lot of extra tracks that went on the CD. And they're here on the, on the white disc. So I was pretty pleased with that, picked that up, and it's a great album, I'll be like, it's really, really good. So I'm looking forward to this second album. Liam Finn, of course, the son of Neil Finn of Crowded House, and uh, got a great talent in his own right. This is Master by The Coolies. I couldn't remember whether it's Master or Master, but it's Master. The Coolies have been around for a long time. They're they were a three-piece band uh, from the 90s, three-piece all-girl band, kind of playing fairly brattish, kind of punky rock. Um, and this, they put out an album a few years ago, which was only on CD. This is their new album, and no one really expected anything to come from them. Here, you've got two of the original members joined by Stefan Neville on drums. He's a bit of a genius. He plays in pumice and a number of other things. And uh, fairly lo-fi, and uh, again, fairly... fairly Bratty and kind of you know noisy and fuzzy and yeah, great fun, really good. It comes out on an Australian record called Chapter Music. And I also picked up this Julian Dine, Pins and Digits. There was a shop in Wellington that was you know, closing down and they were having a sale. I had my eye on it for a while and so the price was right. I finally picked it up. This is a bit different from most of the other stuff I've shown. It's not guitar based. It's more more electronic, uh, it's not dancey, it's pretty gentle, it's uh, quite nice evening music and it's pretty well crafted and structured, the, guy, uh, the guy's name, I can't remember, um, and Julian Dine, yeah, the guy there, yeah, Julian Dine, of course, I thought he was going to have another name from that, but yeah, Pins and Digits. 
Alright, now on to my overseas uh, vinyl. I'm going through this pretty quick, I don't know how much battery I've got left on the camera. So, a few things I've bought, I have only buy New Zealand material. I'm trying to keep the spending down, uh, New Zealand music's my passion, but there are some things that come out that you just got to get, right? So, i got this, the J Mascus, in several shades of white, and this is J Mascus Acoustic, mainly acoustic, there's a bit of electric on here as well. Great package. And really nice. I don't know if this will be the starting point I'd recommend for Jay Mascus because, you know, he's got that trademark draw which is on here, but also that electric guitar sound. You'd probably want to start with Dinosaur Jr. Purple vinyl. But for those aficionados of, of Dinosaur Jr. or maybe some of Jay Mascus' other work and Pot the Fog, um, you know, absolutely great. We're really enjoying that. I also picked up the Decemberist new album, The King is Dead. One of the attractions of this was that it has backing vocals from Gillian Welsh, who I, I really, really like. Um, and this is kind of a country folk album, but I really like the voice of the singer from the Decemberists and songs. I yeah, really enjoyed that as well. I also picked up a couple of, kind of classics, or, you know, which in my ears anyway, things that I really liked that I didn't have on vinyl. But this one I only had on, I think I only had MP3s, and it's a record I just keep on coming back to and back to. I often listen to it on the way home on a Friday when I've just had enough of the week and I just need something to kind of clean it all away. Or, other, you know, if I'm going out and I want something to get ready, I can come back to this album. So I tracked it down on vinyl, I'm really pleased with it. Built to Spill, Keep It Like a Secret, uh, the original album, spread over two discs. And this is a reissue, I think it came out in 2007. So it's really nice to have that on vinyl. It's now my love, and it seems ridiculous only to have MP3. Similarly, another album I love, which I also picked up, um, Neutral Milk Hotel, and I never remember the name of it. I'm not going to find it on there. But yeah. In the aeroplane over the sea, isn't it? I can't remember, but I just I love this album. I came to it late, I didn't hear it when it first came out, I discovered it years later again, I just had the MP3s, and I keep on coming back to it. Absolutely brilliant, so yeah, I had to pack that up. And finally, the one I want to show, I've been anticipating this a long time, I've been really looking forward to this. Uh, the streams are avail available online, I didn't listen to it, I wanted to wait until the record arrived. I found a live bootleg of this guy playing some of the songs. Again, I've got it, I haven't listened to it, I waited. I'm a real fan, I've been looking forward to this for a long time. To give you some indication of how much of a fan I am, my son, my son's middle name is Thurston. Um, this is Thurston Moore, his new, his new album, his new solo album, Demolished Thoughts. I thought his last album, Trees Outside the Academy, was just awesome, absolutely brilliant. And in fact, just quietly, I've, uh, I've found a copy of that on vinyl, which I've ordered, which is on the way. This is the new one, Demolished Thoughts on Matador, and it's the pre-order copy, which means it's on clear vinyl. And I've given it a couple of spins so far. It's growing. I don't. It didn't hit me as immediately as Trees, Out, Trees Outside the Academy, but I think it will. I think I'll, it's going to be up there with that album. Um, quite different from Sonic Youth. You know, it's, it's, there's a lot of acoustic on here. The, the playing is more, well, more contemplative, more folky, and the songwriting and the, the skill of his playing, I suppose, really comes through, as it does in the in Sonic Youth with the noise. So this is just a, a different element to it, and yeah, I'm really pleased with that actually. Really thrilling. Probably my, like, you know, Sonic Youth first and more up there amongst my absolute favourites. So. Something I'm looking forward to and, and not disappointed to at all. There you go, it's my recent vinyl finds. I've also got a couple of singles, but I figured I'm actually going to save them up and do a 7 inch special. I'll do a video on that uh, sometime over the next couple of weeks. Hey, thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for the comments. I really value your feedback. Cheers.